stopped it. Good job. So this is my electric assist unicycle that I built, and it's based off of Grin Technologies electric assist unicycle. So in the center here, this hub is a direct drive Grin through axle hub motor, and the difference between that and a regular Grin uh, hub motor is that I've custom machined a stator support right here, and the uh, unicycle spindle goes through the through axle and attaches right here on this side to the side plate. Uh, in addition, we're also using the Grin phase runner motor controller, which uh, does torque controlling. And so as a result, when I give it more power, it feels like I'm going up or down a hill, as opposed to being speed regulated and just bucking me off of the unicycle. Now up here we've got the controls. So this is a Grin cycle analyst and uh, we have a digital aux up and down buttons. So I've set it up so that we have different modes of uh, power. So if I hit up a couple times, you'll see it's giving it more and more torque until eventually I can't hold it anymore. And uh, because it's torque based, even just a little bit of power will, uh, will get going up to full speed with no resistance. And uh, similarly, if I click down a couple times, then it's breaking and I, you can't see it, but I'm pushing hard against it and it's trying to stop me from going. So that's good for going down hills because going down is just as hard on a unicycle as going up hills. So in addition, uh, these are 95 millimeter cranks. So uh, on a regular unicycle, you might have a little longer uh, cranks, but because I'm limited by the RPM of my legs, because it's a direct drive, uh, I wanted the shortest cranks possible. So this is all sort of a learning process, but... Uh, and then in the back, uh, this pack holds two LIGO Grin batteries. So that's uh, 200 watt hours. And uh, yeah, that powers the whole thing. So that's my unicycle.